we're supposed to write down the coordinates of m right so we're given an equation for that circle it is said to be x plus six squared plus y plus three squared is equals to 25. so let's go ahead and extract uh, the coordinates of m right uh, the x coordinate will be minus six and the y coordinate will be minus three so the coordinates of m we have minus six and minus three so if it was x minus six the x coordinate will be positive six and then if it was y minus three then the y coordinate will be positive three but then here they're positive and then on our um, center we shall have minus six and minus three All right that's how it works when it comes to the coordinates of the center of a circle right let's do the following equation 4.2 4.2.1 uh they're saying that let's calculate the length of the radius of the smaller circle so right we have the radius of the smaller circle uh it is n t right we don't have the coordinates of t so we cannot uh, use the distance formula but it, we are given the equation of the small circle right it is said to be here it is right here right we have x squared plus y squared plus 24x minus 10y plus 153 is equals to zero right so we can write this as x squared plus 24x and then plus y squared minus 10y is equals to minus 153 all right we just took plus 153 to the right hand side so what you want to do here you want to see x plus 24 divided by 2 24 being the coefficient of x right and then we can we can square that so you square that and then we're gonna have plus y and then we have minus 10 divided by 2 right this coefficient of y and then we're supposed to square that and all of that will be equals to minus 153 right but then you have to go to the right hand side and then see plus 24 divided by 2 squared plus minus 10 divided by 2 squared right if you do that then you're gonna find the equation of your cycle uh, so if we compute that we're gonna get x plus 12 squared plus y minus 5 squared is equals to 16 right we're looking for the radius right uh, so this 16 should be r squared so we can say that r squared is equals to 16 so r is equals to 4 right that's relatively easy to see let's move to the flowing question uh, 4.2.2 we're looking for the length of ts so 4.2.2 we're looking for the length of ts let's do some analysis so that we can see what is happening uh, ts is this distance here between the two cycles right what we have is the radius of the smaller circle and the radius of the bigger circle right so what we can do we can find the length of nm we can find the length of nm if we find the length of nm then we're going to subtract the radius of the smaller circle and the radius of the bigger circle to find ts so let's go ahead and do that so we can see that mn is equal to we're about to use the distance formula now so we're gonna have the square root of y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared right so the coordinates of m we have minus 6 and minus 3 and then the coordinates of n we have minus 12 and 5 right 
So to avoid any confusion, I'm going to say that uh, this is x1 and this is y1, this is x2, this is y2. Right. Obviously, you can do it in your head if uh, you're comfortable with that, but yeah, I prefer just playing it safe. And then we're going to have uh, y2 minus y1, so that will be 5 minus minus 3, right? So that will be plus 3. And then squared plus x2, that is minus 12, and then minus minus 6, so that will be plus 6. And then I square that. So now we have uh, the square root of, so we're going to have 5 plus 3, 8 squared, that's 64. And then minus 12 plus 6, that is minus 6 squared, that is 36. So now we have the square root of 100, which is equals to 10. Right. So now uh, to find Ts, we're going to see 10 minus the radius of the smaller circle, minus the radius of the bigger circle. The radius of the smaller circle is 4. The radius of the bigger circle is 5. So the length of Ts is 1 unit that is the length of ts right uh, let's move to 4.3 uh, 4.3 is saying that let's determine the equation of the tangent pr so we're looking for the equation of the tangent pr so let's go ahead and look at pr pr is this uh, tangent right here pr is this tangent right here yeah, we are told in our question statement that PR is parallel to the x-axis. PR is parallel to the x-axis. So our gradient is zero um, on PR, right? So we just need to find uh, the y value. Then y will just be equals to that constant. Right, so let me show you how we're going to do that. We know that uh, the y coordinate of our center m is minus 3 right our point r and our center m they share the same uh, x coordinate right and uh, that will be true if indeed pr is parallel to the x-axis so right uh, to find the y value of r we're just gonna see minus 3 minus 5 the radius of our uh, bigger circle right so if we see minus 3 minus 5 we're going to end up with minus 8 so the y coordinate of r is minus 8 right so now we're going to have y is equals to minus 8 and that's all that's all we have that is the equation of our tangent p r right now moving forward uh, i think you can also take uh, this x value and substitute it uh, in the equation for that circle you would get y is equals to minus 8 and then uh, have your tangent pr being equals to minus 8 but then the really interesting question here is actually 4.3.2 so 4.3.2 uh, we need to find the equation of the tangent ps in the form y is equal to mx plus c so let's go and do some analysis let me just get rid of all this junk so that we can have a bit of clarity so ps is a tangent at s right if ps is a tangent at s then ms and ps should be perpendicular to each other yeah tangent perpendicular to radius Right, we know that that is a theorem we have. So if uh, PS is perpendicular to MS, then we can find the gradient of MS and then find the gradient of PS through that. So how can you find the gradient of MS? Uh, MS, we can find the gradient of that line using the coordinate M and n right because s lies on the line mn so we can just use uh, those two coordinates to find the gradient of ms so we can say that uh, the gradient of ms the gradient of ms is equal to uh, the gradient of mn so we're gonna have y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 
right so um, the coordinates of m we have minus six and minus three let's not forget and then let's take m as our second point then the y coordinate would be minus three and then the y coordinate of n that is five right so we're gonna have minus five and then divided by x2 so x2 we're gonna have minus six minus minus 12 so that will be plus 12 right so this will be equals to on the numerator we have minus 8 and we we'll divide in by 6 it says that you see that uh, the gradient of mn the gradient of ms will be minus 4 divided by 3 right so now because those two lines are perpendicular to each other we can say that the gradient of mn multiplied by the gradient of ps the gradient of ps is equal to minus one yeah that is true that holds if the two lines are perpendicular right so the gradient of m uh, the gradient of ps will be equal to minus one divided by uh, minus four divided by three right if you compute that uh, you will get three divided by four right so we're seeing that <coughs> now the equation of ps is 3 divided by 4 x plus c so we just need to find uh, the, uh, the value of c right uh, we can do that by substituting the point k which lies on the line ps uh, k is uh, coordinates minus 17 and minus 5 so we're gonna have minus 5 for the y value meaning equals to 3 divided by 4 the x value is minus uh, 17 plus c right so now you can see that uh, we just left with uh, doing a bit of algebra and for the most part we are done with our equation right so we're gonna have minus 5 being equals to minus 51 divided by 4 plus c so you just take uh minus 51 divided by 4 to the other side so if you do that you can have minus 5 plus 51 divided by 4 uh, that is 31 divided by 4 right so now the equation of our line is y is equals to uh, 3 divided by 4 x plus 31 divided by four right so let me just uh, substitute uh, x is equals to minus 17 and see if I get minus 5 so if I do that uh, let me see yeah I get minus 5 so I'm a bit uh, convinced now that yeah we have the equation of our line PS